Now don't get jealous. Friday nights around here are pretty exciting. The two of us in separate rooms, each holding a putty knife, scraping something. Years ago for us, a Friday night might have been standing backstage at a Radiohead concert, or get this, going out for dinner at a restaurant. How times have changed. The toilet tank was removed so we could paint, leaving us down one toilet again. Now that we're back to two, I thought a special toilet paper holder would be appropriate. We have matching towel rings as well. I purchased these really cool antique lion's heads, and um, I think they're going to look really good. So Lincoln is going to put them up for me. So I think these are really going to make a nice addition. I found these uh, online. They came from the Netherlands. So I wonder what interesting history these, these hooks have seen. In our last video, we showed you a chandelier we were considering for the bathroom. We determined it was much too small, so we drove around for far too long last weekend, searching for something that would fit. Unfortunately, we came up empty-handed. All I can say is that I'm thankful for the internet. I found this vintage Italian chandelier that's much larger and a better fit. We've hit a few minor snags in our bathroom renovation, which I expected. Nothing surprises me anymore. And this is not where the sink will be installed. It's been removed and taken outside so we can check for leaks in the pipes. Lincoln can explain. So we have one more sink to install, but this one isn't even attached to the wall yet, right? Right, right. We had to detach it. So we've had... <laughs> Well, we, we hard time with these sinks. Right. Well, I mean, it started off with uh, since this wall is solid brick, so we couldn't run water pipes and drain pipes through it. So we were able to bring them all up through the floor, which is great, you know, and go through the pedestal, so it's nice and clean. But there isn't a ton of room in there, and what we discovered after we had. A persistent leak that we couldn't fix. The problem was the PVC pipes we got. And okay. I'll, I'll show you. If you look at, I bought all of these pipes on the same day from the same store. Yeah, right? look at that. So the fitting, which I again, same day, same store, you put it on that one and it's all loose. Yeah. And the way the glue works, I, I don't know exactly how it is, but it's kind of melts the plastic, the two pieces, to bond, but they're not even touching each other. So, but in this one, yeah, you know, I have to force it on there. So that's a huge difference. Oh yeah, this is, this is the way it's supposed to be. But they're, they're all, they're the same pipes. Well, they were, in the, they were in the same bin, bin at the same store, but they were from different lots or different. That's, that's a, that's a, here, take that off again. That's a huge difference. It's, it's hard to get off. So, so that's, so that's where we, where we went wrong. Here. We didn't realize that the amount of play was too much. So we had a leak. Right. That was the in problem the drain. because we were using one of these. Through, through the, the fittings in the, and, and luckily we, we have the ceiling down downstairs yeah. because Can we you... did the beams. So easy access. It would have been a mess. That's if, what I kept thinking of. water was just going down. Onto like the imagine if we had insulated and put oh, yeah. the sheet rock up and then... Well, yeah. So it's all sorted now. Yes, the, the plumbing is all sorted now. We just, um, we need to put the other one in place. Right, so the other sink will be there and um, no more leaks, which is like yeah. good news. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. So, almost done. <laughs> the finishing touches are still in the works. Lincoln is measuring and cutting the new baseboards.
So all the wallpaper has been taken down. The next step is to prep the room for the paint and, and the new wallpaper. Uh, not something I really love to do, but I have to get to it. So the more, most important thing is to properly prep the plaster for the new wallpaper, um, because if we don't do it correctly, we'll have wallpaper peeling off. So what, we're, what we've done is started to scrape the old paint off, any you know, loose little bits and, and pieces. And um, this wall's pretty much done. There are a few cracks to, to fill, and then I'm going to put essentially like a, a skim coat on top of this surface so that the new wallpaper has a good surface to stick to. And we also don't want these dark spots showing through because the new wallpaper is uh, light. It's quite heavy, but we don't want to take the chance of, of seeing those spots over the years bleed through. And I, I, I'm procrastinating. Are any of you procrastinators? Let us know in the comments. I have difficulty choosing paint. Committing to one color is problematic for me when there are so many beautiful choices these days. I think I sound like what I imagine Leonardo DiCaprio's dating philosophy to be. I spent an entire day painting samples, comparing them, driving back and forth to the paint store to get more samples. I tried blue, green, gray, white, I considered ochre, but finally found my way to this combination. The woodwork will be painted in this almond color, and I love almonds, so this is perfect. The four sets of doors will be done in black. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, and if you have something to say, leave us a comment.